over the age of 35, stop everything you're doing right now. After a lifetime of eating fatty foods, you may run the risks of a stroke or heart attack due to plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. To learn how you can reduce your risks, visit youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7856 today. This may be a life-changing call for you or someone you love. Thank you, and we hope to hear from you. The other day happened to you. Our people don't know. All right, man, you are now rocking with the best. I appreciate you guys tuning in to Hip Hop News Uncensored, man. We'll get to the good stuff, liking the video and, and, and subscribing, all that real quick. But let's get to the message, right? So it's been a lot going on with Will Smith since the infamous smack of Chris Rock. Now, we were debating whether it's fake or real, but one thing we do know is that the backlash is very, very real now from netflix backing off of one of will smith's movies temporarily to now even rumors of bad boys 4 being halted it's a lot going on with will smith well cousin ashley or as we know her at her real name as tatiana ali left a message last night and here's what she put she put i love will smith very much and she actually added chris rock right she put, Chris Rock didn't deserve to be hit, period. My heart aches for what has happened. I don't know what caused the chaos and confusion, but I do know that Will has a big heart. I've seen him many times tie his best to do what is right. I believe in him. Now, I don't know. I don't get why people are up in arms so much about a smack, man. I mean, somebody said it best. They said people, you know, people are you know, against the smack, but you for war. Like, it, it, this country was actively at war for, like, half of my life. Innocent people were dying all over the world in the name of democracy and freedom. That's what they tell us, right? This was just a smack. I mean, we pay money, right, for the U to go see UFC, to go see boxing, to go see people beat their heads in bloody and we got popcorn and wine and beer and everybody's cheering and betting on and everything. But when a man chin checks a dude, now all this backlash, now Will Smith's a monster. This goes very, very deep. This goes deeper than what meets the eye, right? And I'm going to get to that. But let me deal with her, right? Because she's saying, right? And, of course, beautiful lady, beautiful actress. I'm sure she has a beautiful heart. Chris Rock didn't deserve to be hit, period, right? My heart aches for what happened. Now, maybe Will Smith could have had a little bit more composure. I'll definitely, definitely, you know, concede to that. But to say that you don't know what caused it, I mean, we all know what caused it. He made a joke about his wife. He ain't like it. And it wasn't the first time. So he went up there and he chin checked him and smacked him in front of the whole wide world. You know, that is what it is. And I don't get why people are acting like, you know, he like shot like six bullets at him or something or he tried to cut his throat or something on the stage. Like he just chin checked him and smacked him and he moved on. Now he's starting to lose this. He's starting to lose that. Ironically, after he brings home his first Oscar, now the walls are tumbling down. Right now he's not known as, you know, this pushover dude. Now Will Smith would get up in your mm, and do what he got to do. And Hollywood don't like that. Hollywood seems like they want people to be docile. Hollywood seems like, you know, they want people to be cool and not, you know, sometimes things happen. And it's the double standard to me is crazy. Like I said before, like we pay to go see people brutalize each other, straight up brutalize. And a man can't just he ain't even punch him. He smacked him. He checked him. Now, a lot of people may not agree with it or whatnot, but I don't see nothing wrong with it at the end of the day. I don't see nothing wrong with going up and smacking a dude if he disrespected your wife in front of you. I don't care where we at. It's just off, it's off limits, man. Now, maybe he shouldn't have been able to. People could say that all day. He shouldn't have been able to keep his cool. He, he didn't. He didn't keep his cool. He did what he had to do, and that was that. Now, he probably could have waited and went backstage, but he felt like he had to do it right then and there. He made it happen. Now what? Now you're going to take 
movies from him. Now I'm going to pull this back and pull this. It's whack, man. If I was Will Smith, I would say I don't give a damn. I would say take it all from me because I'm good. I'm straight. I done made hundreds of millions of dollars. What can you take from me? I'm straight. I'm going I'm to go make my own movie. I'm going to get I'm going to get people. I'm going to make my own studio. Like come on, dog. Like how much money do you need at the end of the day? You need 100 billion dollars like dog, you straight. If I was Will Smith, I'd tell everybody to go to hell, man, at this point. Like I did it. I apologize. Y'all want to keep on taking shit. Oh, well, keep doing it then. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to do what I do. And and my thing is, why even apologize for it, dog? Like if you meant to go smack the dude, you smacked him. Now maybe I could see about apologizing to the awards and things like that and the Oscars because maybe, you know, things got a little bit too out of control and maybe you, you felt like you shouldn't have did it. But apologizing to Chris Rock, nigga, hell no. Hell no. Like let's put gloves on. Let's fight. One of my best friends, right, and you guys, if you've been on this, um, listen to this before, you heard me talk about it. One of my best friends, right, we had a fight when we was younger, maybe two fights when we was younger. We got it out, we aired it out, and we moved forward. Me and Sam Man grew up together. We had a lot of fights. We ain't fighting now. We got it out when we was younger. We used to box all the time. We used to wrestle all the time. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just, I don't know. I come from a different era. I come from a different era. I'm not that soft to be like, oh, I don't know what happened. And, uh, you know, we need to start canceling Will. That's crazy. That's ludicrous. Will Smith, say the hell with him. I don't care if I never do another movie. But see, Will Smith probably cares, though. He wants acceptance. And he should, I guess, in a certain extent, because he's worked very hard to get where he's at. But I can't let me make one mistake. I can't get one smack out. I can't do that. I don't know, man. I'm going to fall back, though, on this joint. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, man. Make sure you guys like this video real quick, man. Let's like this video. You know, also make sure you guys are subscribed to Hip Hop News Uncensored for more exclusives just like this. is very easy to do. Go ahead and smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Also, make sure you guys follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, and Facebook, right? All those links are in the description box. I know y'all got at least one of them joints. So I should be seeing like at least a few hundred people following me right now, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. All the links are in the description box. Also, make sure that you guys go to the website, which is hiphopun.com. Matter of fact, go to the top line of the description box. And I got an article um, that one of my writers actually did about Will Smith and the backlash. And now they're trying to take away Bad Boys 4. They're trying to halt Bad Boys 4. So if you go to the top um, line of the description box, you can check that article out and get all the details about how now they're trying to actually stop the production of Bad Boys 4. That link is at the top line of the description box. Go check that out, man. I appreciate you guys listening. It's your boy, Oga, man. Hip-hop uncensored is the vibe. So subscribe over and out. Peace.